Yeah, yeah, frustrating, mate. Yeah, we were in it. Um, just again, it's like Groundhog Day for us at the moment. We're, we're giving ourselves the best chance to win games and we're finding ways to not win them in key moments. Um, we just spoke about that in there. I mean, to come here against full credit, I'll just start by saying, like, great stuff, Warriors. It's great to see them doing well in the game for the game of rugby league worldwide. Um, they've played extremely well all year and it's, it's awesome for them to um, be in the finals and make the top four just for the game of rugby league as a whole. But yeah, for us tonight, like against what, nothing went our way, 45% possession, we're playing them here at home, we're a good team at home with 25,000 loud fans and to be in the game with seven minutes to go there and then we come up with probably a cr crucial error when we had a chance to win it. It was disappointing and frustrating for the team. What did you make of the having to try at the end where it's that thing to make some contact with the ball? Oh, Sloney. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll, yeah, I'll have to re really look at it, mate. I, we were just talking about here. The ball was on the ground, and his, his hands yeah. on the ball. So yeah, I, I questioned the ref, and they said he has to be attempting to ground the ball. They said he was attempting to pick it up. So yeah, I don't Tough know one. how they judge attempt. But that's right. <coughs> that's right. Apparently they do. Uh, ben, you've got a lot of young players in the team to play in an atmosphere like that, pretty hostile. Um, as it is, a, you know, boss lock longer is that game is that. Encouraging for you know, rough season and looking forward to next Yeah, definitely encouraging. Looking forward, that's for sure. Um, you know, we've got a really good group of young guys here. I think they just need a bit more time and you know, possibly you know, a couple more old heads around them to, to help bring them through. And um, yeah, you can't fault the effort that our whole team put in tonight. And you know, a lot of those young guys were part of that. It's you know, just got to be smarter at times. Yeah, well, we definitely had a, um, a plan to try and keep them quiet tonight, and um, you know I think we did that with those two. But you know they've got a lot of other strike weapons as well that that can hurt you, and you know they're just playing a really good brand of footy tonight and uh, for this this year, sorry, and yeah, hard to handle. Oh, it's massive for the sport and, you know, it's, it's really good to see after what happened in COVID and what, what they all gave up and staying in Australia and things like that. It's, yeah, it's, it's really exciting to see and I'm, I'm, you know, I hate losing but, you know, I'm excited that the Warriors are going well and they're up in the top four and, you know, doing it for their, for their fans back here. They're really getting behind them. It's, you know, it showed tonight it's a really tough place to come and play when their fans are behind them. Yeah, I think syndesmosis, mate. Yeah, so it's a pretty bad. Poor kid. It was um, unfortunate. It was awesome to be able to give him his debut um, back here in Auckland where he was born and bred and, and grew up. And um, we were so excited for him. And unfortunately, the injury came a little bit early in the game and threw us out of whack. And then we had, a, in the same incident, I think Lomax went off with a head knock. So we had Jacob Little on the left wing, Billy Burns, at, uh, Mark and Dallin, who's obviously killing it with the try scoring. And, that's what I mean. Like we're we're doing to go through all that adversity and still be in the game with seven minutes to go when they have an error coming out of trouble. And I thought we were winning the battle there. I thought we were on top of them. I thought, you know, if we just go and put one on them there, I think we win the game. And unfortunately, we come up with an error and they went down the field and that that incident in the end goal there where Adam scored. So yeah, like when you consider all the adversity we went through with losing Sione and Zach through the game, we lost D Rust to a head knock as well. We had people going everywhere. Oh, I didn't even know who I was going to put where. I was just yelling out random changes. And they found a way just to turn up and save tries. It was unreal. Chris, where's that Sloan play? Like, we sort of have a word for them next week about maybe that's just one new ground rather than trying to pick it up. Is that just sort of an experience? Yeah, it's a learning thing. You've got to go through them to get, to get through them. Um, got that one wrong, obviously. I think he's just trying to pick it up and make a play when, what was it, 10-6 at the time? We probably just got to just go for a short drop out, see if you can get one back and you get the ball back, you're still a chance of winning. Or even if you don't, it's, they might get a penalty. But yeah, it's probably a learning experience for him and it, it hurt us in the end. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys.